the Garden of Eden too. Now in the centre of the garden is a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now God, when he spoke to me in his almighty voice in Goulburn, in a hotel room in Goulburn, communicated as one of his aspects, which I've talked about, centrality, that he is the centre of existence. And God placed the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the centre of the garden. And the serpent says to Eve that you'll be like one of the gods knowing good and evil. So it could potentially be the case, that, and probably is because he created, he created the fruit. God has all knowledge of good and evil. And God's communicated to me, to me in a voice of centrality. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil is also in the centre of the garden. So it's knowledge. There's knowledge of good and evil, but it's also knowledge. There's also knowledge in general, general knowledge. And God has, apparently, infinite knowledge. It takes the pride of place, but it's forbidden to mankind. It's forbidden to mankind. It takes the pride of place in the center, the central aspect, the fundamental, most important aspect, the central thing of which it all revolves around the garden, the garden, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, but it's forbidden. God will not share his glory with another, according to Isaiah. He will not share his glory. It's a central aspect of the creator. His glory, his truths, his knowledge. He has knowledge of good and evil, and he has knowledge of everything. Not just good and evil, but knowledge of everything, because he is an infinite God that fills the universe, which is endless. And God's knowledge is central to his being, because it's what he delights in, it's his glory. He will not share his glory with anyone else. He created man, and mankind works with earth, the created world, to to learn Terran knowledge, earth-based knowledge. But God says, this knowledge, knowledge of good and evil, you shouldn't touch. Adam and Eve touched it and ate it. They did that which was forbidden, so they got knowledge of God. It wasn't any good for them, which reminds us, even though the central tree of the Garden of Eden is a lovely tree. That's something which we shouldn't touch because God says, it's for me. I don't share it with you. We're not gods. 